Do you want real feedback about careers? Do you know when is the best time to ask questions? Hi, my name is Crystal Olavaria, and I'm the Career Conversationalist. Thank you for joining me today. When was the last time you had a bad day at work? For me, it was recently. I don't know about you, but when I get mad, I want to vent. After the angry emotions pass, I long for someone to confide in. I want someone to understand my side of the story. While I'm in this emotional state, I'm in a mood to talk. I want to share my frustrations and disappointments. I want to talk to someone who is genuinely interested in what I have to say. Are you this person? Are you genuinely interested in knowing more about the day-to-day -day life in my chosen career field? Do you want to ask me how my day was at work? How was your day at work today? I had a rough day. I'm going to have to revisit a store for a three-hour visit and not get paid for my time. I work in retail part-time in the mornings and afternoons as an independent contractor, and I blog in the evenings. My retail responsibilities vary, but lately, the hardest part of my job has been working with apparel, especially during the busy holiday season. I used to love retail, but that was back in the days when you were in the dressing room and it was common for a store associate to ask, how are the clothes fitting? Would you like me to bring you another size? Is there anything else you are looking for? Perhaps what I fell in love with was the customer service that came along with the clothing. Now, many stores don't offer that same level of customer service that used to be common. I get tired of seeing customers not being served well. I have even seen store associates harass customers. I've witnessed on many occasions customers walk up to a cash register wanting to buy something expensive or many expensive items at full price and the store associates insist that the customers only pay 75% of the asking price instead of the full 100. There's one catch. The catch is the customers have to come back to the store a few days later to pick up their purchase. Many customers don't want to do this because of how busy they are. You know, their time is valuable. Their time is expensive. They don't want to come back to the store. For a lot of customers, it's cheaper just to pay a little bit more for the better quality and service. But from a business standpoint, also, why would you want to cut your gross profit margin, especially when you have customers who want the merchandise and are ready to pay full price with cash in hand or credit card in hand? When pre-sale events are used inappropriately by stores, they reduce profitability rather than increase it. Not only does this cut into the company's profit, but it also means they have less money available to hire associates to keep the store looking orderly. Most of the time, I'm hired to elevate a store's presentation and make it look fabulous. However, since stores do not have a lot of hours to hire people to keep their store looking orderly, I have to spend a lot of time on recovery rather than arranging merchandise in a way to promote the sale of goods. I have to double time it and do the store's job as well as my job, and I never know what a store is going to look like when I walk in to visit it. The messier the store is upon arrival, the more effort is needed to bring the store from a normal presentation to a fabulous one. The less well-kept the store is, the harder it is for me to do my job. I was recently asked to revisit a store because I didn't do enough. There's, a, there's this pendulum that swings back and forth, and the feedback I receive is, the area is messy and it needs to be straightened up better. Then, when I spend the extra time straightening it up and making it look perfect, the feedback is, I didn't do enough because I focused on a smaller area. However, what really upsets me is when I work with another brand and I have the same level and quality of work. The strategy and amount of effort and quality of work will earn me praise for one brand but reprimand me for another. One brand wants me to focus on merchandising their most profitable product, well, the other brand is not. What I should be focusing on isn't always clear. As you can imagine, I like working with the brand that wants me to focus on what's profitable. 
By focusing on driving sales, I can ensure there is money available to continue to pay me as well as to keep the company profitable. I like my job and what I do, but I'm frustrated with the current situation. I want to play a bigger game. I have a lot and have a larger impact on people's lives. That is why I'm learning how to create a show where I will interview people about their jobs. It is my hope that by sharing knowledge, experience, and wisdom, people like you will make more informed decisions about which career options would be a good fit for your child and for you to encourage him or her to pursue. Are you glad you asked me how my day was? Did you learn anything about the retail industry? Thank you for watching this blog episode. I look forward to our cross, our paths crossing again soon. Take care.